And then we have date night, get ready to be wine and dine, but it's in the reverse. Then we have the earth sign Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And then we have, yes, luck is on your side. And then I have, I will not be intimidated. So I feel like someone may have had to cancel a date, uh, possibly with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Luck is on your side and give it time. Something is in divine timing. Um, someone could be trying to intimidate somebody. Someone could have been um, going through some sort of breakup or um, somebody had to deal with something or someone threatening them. Um, with some form of action, and so they had to cancel a date possibly to deal with whatever that they had going on. Um, it was not intentional. I feel like it was not intentional. Um, somebody could have um, tried to have somebody falsely arrested. Um, there's a lot of things that could have caused this date to be canceled, um, but somebody was trying to intimidate someone into not coming towards you, um, and this could even be another masculine trying to intimidate a masculine from coming towards a divine feminine energy. Um, but somebody is not going to be intimidated. So somebody could have tried to intimidate someone so that they wouldn't go towards their counterpart, but it's not working. But there's some reason, um, there's divine timing. Somebody needed to, um, some time to sort through something. So someone may not be moving as quickly as you would like towards a relationship or towards making you some sort of love offer. Um, but everything's in divine timing, and you just need to give it a little bit of time. Luck is on your side um, as far as a relationship or at least a date goes. Um, as long as there are tests, there will be prayer in schools. So this could be a test of um, how you're going to handle something, not intentionally, uh, but this could be a test even by the divine himself as far as um, how you're going to react if you learned your lessons um, in previous relationships, if you're going to overreact, um, if you're going to blow up at this person. Um, I don't want to say that they're testing you because somebody, somebody was trying to intimidate them or scare them away um, from coming towards you. It could have even been their friends trying to talk them out of this or family trying to um, talk someone out of coming towards somebody for religious purposes or different religious beliefs. Um, I'm getting, that's what that could be. There could be somebody's family that is pressuring somebody not to go out with somebody or get in a relationship with somebody, um, possibly due to different religious beliefs. You're making a mountain out of a molehill in the reverse. So somebody seem, feels like something's not a big deal. Um, they're just like, oh, you can just find someone, you know, um, you know, that believes the same way you do or that practices the same way you do. Um, someone that's a better match. This could have been somebody's mother or father figure that was pressuring them. Um, they don't think something is such a big deal. But somebody feels like they're being tested, like, even through their faith. Um on whether or not they're going to be unequally yoked with somebody. So somebody may feel like it would be a mistake to go out with you or um, link up with you, um, especially if this is like a religious spiritual thing. That just keeps coming out, unfortunately. Um, but that's just the times we live in. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but obviously there's a message here, you know, don't be discouraged. Don't give up hope. Someone is making their way towards you. They're just moving like a fucking turtle, which is funny because there's a turtle on that picture. Um, so that's kind of ironic that somebody is moving at a slower pace than what maybe you would like. Um, but they feel like maybe they're just being tested. Um, whether it's like, they feel like they're being tested with low hanging fruit or tempted with low hanging fruit, but it's not being tempted or tested. If you're both single, um, this person just needs to go through some sort of awakening. It's like, they need that aha moment. Someone is just, unfortunately they're not on the same level as you are spiritually or as far as enlightenment goes um you hold your beliefs as sacred there's something sacred about what you believe in and this is intimidating to another person maybe um 
to the knowledge that you have, to the power that you have, that can be intimidating to this person as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone trying to convince them not to come towards you, but it's like a test for this person um, if they can overcome their ego and come towards you. Um, so I'm getting like a couple different scenarios. In one scenario, it could be a family pressuring somebody for religious beliefs, different belief systems. Um, in another case, it's just that this person um, is scared of the sacred knowledge that you hold and it intimidates them and they're trying not to be intimidated. It's like, I think I can. It's like, I'm trying not to be scared. Um, it's like they're afraid that you can see through them or they're afraid you know secrets. And that is scary to people. Um, especially if they think that you can see through them. They didn't want to believe that you had like some sort of gift that you have, especially if you have like any psychic abilities. It kind of scares this person just a little bit. It, it, I mean, a lot of it. Okay. I, uh, yeah, it scares this person a lot. <laughs> um, because it's like, you can look into someone's soul and see their secrets and so somebody needs time to process through something. Luck is on your side, um, but this person may have bailed out on you, but it, it says give it time. It's all in divine timing. This person is working through it. They're processing. Um, they're trying to understand. So if this is your divine counterpart, you're, you're just going to have to be a little patient with this person because they're just not where you are yet. Um, they're still going through that awakening or you know, um, trying to get that spiritual knowledge and the fact that you know certain things, it really does scare this person, um, a lot of it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to make light of it. It does, it kind of terrifies this person, but they have feelings for you. They want to come towards you. Um, they're just working through it. it. It really isn't divine timing. So I can't really give you a time frame as far as how long it's going to take for this person to to um accept things or get their aha moment i feel like there is going to be some sort of realization um where this person is going to i mean i don't want to say you you can't read minds because some people actually can you know sometimes you can actually hear people's thoughts especially if you're an empath um and the, it's scary this person doesn't know how you know sacred things or the sacred knowledge and they didn't, they don't want to believe it. That's why it's in the reverse. It's like, they don't want to believe that you have these gifts. Um, but you said or did something and it was like a boo moment. It was just like, ah, like it scared the shit out of this person. And they're trying to like not shit their pants about you being real. Um, maybe you've known this person like before your transformation, maybe you didn't speak to them for like years or something like that. And it's like, now they're seeing this transformed you and it scares them a little bit. Like they can't believe it. They're like, is it really you? Like, um, is the old you there? Like, are you real? Like what happened? Um, it's someone is a bit shocked. Um, there's something to do with, um, apps. Um, uh, maybe you met somebody on an app or, um, you could be communicating with someone like through an app. Uh, I'm hearing WhatsApp. I mean, I don't use that, but I've heard of it. Um, there was a police officer involved in a situation, and somebody lost their protection. So if somebody was using police, a karmic energy, if there was a karmic energy, which there usually is, um, somebody could have used a police officer against somebody. So like I said, somebody could have even tried to have somebody falsely arrested. So it's not like they bailed on you on purpose. It's like, sorry, my ex, um, you know, said I threatened her life or something and had me locked up because I was like, you know, I told her I had a date or some shit. Like, uh, something is going to be happening in record time, break a record um, break a world record. Something is going to be, um, happening at record speed, but it's going to happen in divine timing. So even though it seems like it's moving slow now, when it does pick up, it's going to be like really fast, um, very quick moving. Um, but the start is slow and, and slightly painful. I'm not going to lie. It is slightly painful. Um, because it looks like there's a, um, uh, a karmic trying to stand in the way of this um, union as well as this person's fear of 
are you real? Like, there's something you said or did, it scared this person a little bit. Um, they are, they're intimidated. They're trying not to be. They're really trying not to be. Um, because maybe when they knew you before, um, they didn't think you were as knowledgeable spiritually or religious, you know, like they just didn't see it then. Maybe you didn't even see it then. Maybe you didn't know then, um, how spiritually inclined you were, how gifted you were. And, um, this person hasn't had a chance to grow up yet. They're still a little baby caterpillar. So you're going to have to let them grow into a little butterfly or at least get their cocoon ready. Um, it's like they're trying to understand. They're just um, having some processing difficulties with um, grasping the gravity of what's going on. It's like if I give it this person, am I getting with a witch? Am I getting, you know, with a warlock? Like somebody is a little scared. But they're keeping a secret, and this is in the reverse, and that's that their heart belongs to you, or your heart belongs to them. Um, they do have feelings for you. They're keeping it a secret that they do have feelings for you, but they're, they're nervous, and um, they're not as woke as you are. Even if they're intelligent, as far as spirituality goes, this person hasn't gone through an ascension, um, or, um, you know, that transformation um, it's like, I don't, it's like they need to take that first step. I don't, I don't, I hope they're not that far behind y'all because they have a lot of catching up to do, <laughs> but they're still a baby caterpillar as far as spirituality goes. They haven't, they, they don't have the knowledge that you do. And so they're trying to understand how you even know this, how you get your downloads. It's like, are they schizophrenic? Are they hearing voices? Um, someone is just questioning a lot of things. Someone could be trying to go back and erase something. It's like they're trying to erase how they viewed you, but they're trying to erase their preconceived notions of how they view you, like from before. It's like they have to get to know you all over again. And it's like they're trying to decide if this is um, something they can handle. If this is a relationship that you had been in before, and for some of you, it, it has been, um, they're trying to figure out if it's worth the risk of being hurt again. Um, you know, I got to put that out there. Someone could be afraid of, um, if, if you guys do connect and this gets made public, like reading a newspaper, if they're going to get burnt, someone's afraid if, um, you end up hooking up with this person, maybe they're going to get burnt like you. Uh, maybe they see how many people have turned their backs on you for your spiritual path and someone could be afraid. It's like they're doing the math, um, doing some calculations. Um, they're trying to figure out if it's worth giving you these flowers and that kind of stopped them from moving forward. Like with the train and the birdcage and tying the knot, they could have just gotten out of something. Um, you know, this could also be stopping them. Maybe they're going through a divorce or um, tying up loose ends with a past relationship as well. It's like they're just getting out of something um, or they just felt like they were released from a birdcage. It's like, you know, when you first get, um, go through a divorce or a breakup or something, it's like being re-released back out into the wild and you have to get out there and realize, man, this shit sucks. I would rather be home with one person instead of doing this dating thing because it's worse than what it was like years before, that kind of thing. But ultimately, this person is going to dive in to this with you. They want to dive in with you. They're going to give you your flowers Ultimately, they're going to, um, like I said, it's in divine timing, so it's very slow moving. Um, the person that they were with, this karmic, was talking a lot of turkey. Um, they told them a lot of shit. They've been through a lot of shit. You've been through a lot of shit. Um, if you were ever in a relationship with this person before, there was some shit. And this person is afraid of missing the mark again. Um... It's like they're afraid to to let themselves drift. Like float is the second word on here and I see someone like drifting up. It's like, excuse me, someone's afraid of like drifting and, and like daydreaming. It's like they'll catch themselves thinking about you and what a life would be like. And they're like, no, 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 I can't go there. Like it's impossible. But it's not. They're just not, they're just not there just yet. They're getting there though. Um, yeah, somebody had a, had a slick spot. Somebody sent them some shit their way. It's like somebody was trying to keep them, like, 
like a toy, like keeping them in one spot, um, trying to hop over slick shit. They were dealing with a karmic, as we all have to at some point, and they were trying to keep them in their pocket. This karmic was trying to keep this, um, your divine counterpart, like in their pocket, um, but this person is trying to regain control of their own life with this steering wheel and they're falling for you. It's like if it's new love, they're falling for you. If it's old love, it's like they're falling for you all over again. Um, and this scares them a little bit because they're, it's like you can't go back and erase um, the past. It's like, uh, and you were, for some of you, you were attached to them because the paper clip was on here too. So. Someone may be trying to erase the, their attachment that they have now. Um, but, I mean, it scares them to possibly even just be attached to someone at this moment because they're going through a lot. You've gone through a lot. And if you have been with this person, um, they're trying to figure out you because they don't they feel like they don't know you anymore. They really feel like they just don't even know who you are anymore, which is not a bad thing. But it's like now they have to find them. It's like if they can go through that transformation, like what changes am I going to go through? Um, so someone's almost scared of the changes that they are going to go through. It's like, well, if this person can change that much, um, what's going to happen to me? Is everyone going to walk away from me? I mean, what's going to happen? Are people going to walk away from me if I hook up with this person? Um, I mean, it's not like they're speaking this stuff out loud. This is just what they're thinking. Um, not saying it's necessarily right, but, um, after this person heals, this, this person is working on healing and after, you know, whatever the karmic bullshit they're dealing with, once that's healed, it, they are coming towards you with a chariot. It is going to happen. It's just moving slow as fuck. Because the wheel of fortune is on your side and they they are thinking about you. They're reminiscing about you. Um, they, they are daydreaming about you with the six of cups. The wheel of fortune is in your favor for this relationship. Um, definitely. It's just moving slow. <laughs> so it's like I'm hearing, I'm hearing some of you say painfully slow. But this is your king of cups. This is somebody who is emotionally balanced. They're not going to make a decision based on impulse. This is somebody who is emotionally balanced. So they're not going to make an impulsive decision that they're going to regret later. This person is going to take time to think something through. And that is why it's going to be a victory. It is going to be a yes. It's just a slow coming yes, okay? Um, oh, God, I don't want to think about that. But, um... <laughs> Oh, yeah, y'all are going to be getting it on. I'm hearing moaning and shit now. Okay, all right, I don't want to get into that. Um, yeah, y'all are going to be having sex, too. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, this Divine Masculine had to close out a cycle with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, this Gold Digger energy. Um, this person is trying to keep her hooks into this masculine. Like I said, she could have had him falsely arrested once she found out he was coming towards his divine feminine. Um, like this person is doing everything they can to stall this masculine from coming towards you, but it's a victory in your favor. It's going to be a yes. It's all in divine timing. It's gonna happen. It's just, man, a bitch won't quit. <laughs> Bitches be crazy, man. This woman just won't let this dude go <laughs> not without a fight because she's broken she needs his money but this this person um caused some sort of betrayal um like this karmic female this queen of pentacles disrupted this masculine's life this divine masculine uh by causing him seven wands like a lot of conflict this person's fighting a lot of battles and conflict so it's not like they are trying to brush you off or blow you off they just really have to deal with the bullshit of this psycho who is not getting out of their energy willingly um it's like they're just it's like they wanted to disrupt this person's peace it's like the dude's just chilling relaxing the next thing you know his ass is in the slammer getting accused of domestic violence um now he's got court all this other crazy shit i mean he's fighting a lot of battles because of this karmic so uh, give him a little slack yeah, 
I mean, somebody took some swift, this karmic took some swift action. Like, this was, like, quick as lightning. Like, this masculine didn't see it coming. He may not have even been able to call you and tell you he had to cancel. Um, because, uh, you know, he was dealing with shit. Um, he may not be talking a lot to you at this time. But it's coming. So, uh, this is, yeah, this is the Queen of Swords. So you could be coming up as the Queen of Swords here very logical, um, you're focused on business, your money, you know, you're thinking logical anyway, you may not even be really thinking so much about a, a, a relationship per se, um, so, I mean, that's another thing that's kind of scary to this person, it's like, should I even try it, are they even interested in me, um, this karmic is having a lot of sleepless nights, like, this karmic energy is losing her shit, like, there's such a betrayal, this King of Pentacles is also this King of Cups. Or you could have an option between the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Um, you know, I'm feeling like it's two different people, though. Yeah. I'm going to go with my instinct. I'm going to follow my intuition on this one. The Queen of Swords is going to have an option between this King of Cups and this King of Pentacles. Because this King of Pentacles is in despair over the, somebody's gifts and talents. And I feel like it's the Queen of Swords gifts and talents. So someone here is very gifted. And I feel like it could be this King of Pentacles who is in despair over this person's gifts. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> yeah, this karmic was trying to keep um this masculine um that she's trying to stay attached to oh my god y'all got so much going on here okay let's get some clear uh, let's slow it down here this masculine's dealing with a karmic psycho bitch the divine femme is going to have an option between um the king of cups and the king of pentacles okay and this has somebody in despair. There's some sort of betrayal. Someone is not sleeping well because someone has gifts and talents. Um, this karmic energy was trying to keep somebody indecisive so they wouldn't make the right choice at a stalemate with the Two of Swords because this karmic didn't want this masculine to come towards you. Um, and now they're all up in their feelings and emotions. This um, Queen of Pentacles and reverses all up in her emotions and feelings and she's juggling finances with the Two of Pentacles and so someone is trying, this karmic was trying to stop this information from coming towards you. Um, she's trying to stop the communication of this masculine letting you know how he feels about you. Meanwhile, you have this other option that may be popping up and so there's all kinds of shit going on here. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And we're already 23 minutes into this. So I don't know. Oh my God. Let's move on to the message cards here. This is a, those late night reads. I like them because I never know what's coming out. But um, they're trying to make you paranoid. So there's a karmic energy here who's trying to make somebody paranoid. Um, I feel like it's the karmic masculine's karmic that they're dealing with that's trying to make them paranoid. Um, this person is a bag of chips full of air. This person is threatening them, making all kinds of accusations, threats. Um, they need to be honest with themselves. You need to be honest with yourself. Came out sideways. Something is going to be happening in the six to nine months with a father or son figure. So they could have a child together. So... Um, I don't know what state you live in, but some states it takes up to six months for a divorce to go through. So, I mean, this person could be going through a divorce, actually. So, um, calm down, Divine Femme. Um, I know six to nine months sounds like a long time, but um, just just bear with them. All in divine timing, okay? I'm hearing someone say, I don't have six to nine months. Well, <laughs> You will if you want the right one. If you get impatient and end up with the karmic, you're going to end up hurting yourself. So, you know, just wait for the right one. Don't jump at the first. Don't be a desperate. Don't be desperate. Don't. Get what you deserve. You go for the... Yeah, if... Don't you fuck it up, girl. I'm hearing you. Don't you fuck it up. 
And I'm talking to a divine fem that's going to get impatient and not want to wait for the right person and settle for some desolate, dusty ass motherfucker. And then she's going to have a karmic to deal with. And this whole shit is going to take a lot longer to sort out. And they may not even end up together. And then they both end up with karmics and miserable the rest of their lives. So just calm down. Ah. <sighs> This karmic is being selfish. Focus on yourself and the reverse. This karmic is being very selfish. Um, they thought they were going to get some sort of unexpected money or an inheritance, and that's not going to happen, especially because they're a gold digger. So, of course, they're focused on finances and money. Um, someone's being two-faced in this situation. So, be careful of that. If, um, you know, you have a choice between... A king of cups, and what was the other one? The king of swords? Or no, the king of pentacles. This king of pentacles may not be completely honest. This king of pentacles may be lying about having those pentacles. That's what I'm getting. So, um, don't be with somebody just because you think they have money. So, be careful and don't make the wrong choice again and end up in another karmic cycle. You're supposed to have learned your lesson. That's the very first cards that I pulled with being tested. You both are being tested. As long as there are tests, there will be prayer in schools. Pray on it. Don't make a stupid ass karmic decision based on impulse. You know better. You're a divine. You know better. Shame on you. Don't. Don't fuck it up. Don't make the wrong choice again. Someone is hiding what they did. So this could be your karmic too. So you, you both, if you are twin flames on a twin flame journey, I must say that um, just because, you know, you're twin flames doesn't necessarily mean you have to be with each other, but you can also be mirroring each other. So if you are a twin flame and this person is dealing with a karmic, this king of pentacles who's showing up pretending to have money, they could be the one that's being two-faced. That could be the divine femmes karmic. So keep that in mind because if you knew what I did, eh... Someone saying they acted alone against a mother or daughter. So what did I just say? This is the female's karmic here. The king of pentacles is the, fe the yeah. So don't make the wrong choice, dude. You're going to have a choice uh, between two masculines, your false twin flame and your true twin flame or your divine counterpart. It doesn't have to be your twin flame, but your divine counterpart. You're going to have a choice between that and some dumb fuck who's being two-faced and lying to you. Make the right choice, please. Otherwise, you both are going to be in a world of hurt. <sighs> Man. These are getting crazier and crazier, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Alright, so we have a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's something significant about July. And there's something that happened back in October with a bald-faced liar, and somebody is being warned not to burn their bridges, but I feel like there's a water sign here that did burn their bridges because they were a bald-faced liar. So, water sign Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces could have been a bald-faced liar, um, so be careful about that, especially if that is one of your karmics, if that's the King of Pentacles coming back pretending to have Pentacles, I feel like... They may not have pentacles. You have the wisdom of the ages. You're very smart. You have sacred knowledge. Please use it. Both of you. For the masculine and the feminine. Be smart. An Aquarius could be significant. Something could be happening around noontime. Yeah, someone's barking up the wrong tree. They are not as pure as the driven snow, so be careful. You could be the Aquarius, or this could be an Aquarius coming to you. Um, yeah, Aquarius is January 20th through February 18th. That could be Aquarius season as well. Somebody's ancestors are rolling over in their grave. Because somebody fell for the low-hanging fruit. They were easily tempted. Don't fall for the low-hanging fruit. Make the right choice. These karmics are scared stiff. Um, there could be something significant about Tuesday. Someone thinks that you're too good to be true. They are a little intimidated. Alright. 
let's pull some letters and close this one out. I'm already over 30 minutes and I have a couple of personals that I already did. I just have to upload them. But I wanted to squeeze in a collective as well. The letter P could be significant. Person, place, or thing. The letter O. Police officer, parole officer, probation officer is what I'm getting. Parolee. Mm. T, pot. Mary Jane could be significant. Flowers could be significant. Um, but I'm definitely getting the flower. Um, Mary Jane is probably significant somehow. X. N. E. Repent. Why? Someone wants to repent. Yeah, if it's that King of Pentacles that's pretending to be wealthy, uh, I don't know about that one. S. Spent. Yeah, somebody spent a lot of money. The, the gold diggers do. do. The King of uh, Pentacles isn't as rich as they're letting on either. That I can promise you. The letter I. And I'm going to do one more because I'm almost at 32 minutes. And C. <clears throat> Y-X-O-S-P-E-N-T-I-C. Alright, I hope this helps folks. Have a good night.